Hey guys, welcome to Chain Hunter. We are going to talk about the Ridge Roller Cart paired with something you've seen in a previous video. All right, let's go. All right, once you receive your ridge roller, there is some assembly required. First couple of things you got to take care of is you got to attach our bag secure straps. You got to install your fenders as well as the tires. And over here in the rear, we just got to assemble our bottle holder. The ridge roller is all made out of aluminum. It's a cool 12 pounds. Fits in the back of a SUV fine. If you got a hatchback, small Civic, you can fit it in the trunk in that position or got the trunk full easily put in the back seat all right one of the awesome things i love about the ridge roller cart is it's not a tubular handle it is square so there's no way that this thing's gonna swivel on you once it mates into that square slot it ain't moving all right one of the things i wanted to share with you is the telescoping handle it can go pretty crazy so um it's got two adjustment knobs you got one right here below one here halfway up i can get that pretty high so this is probably taller than most standard handles that i've seen and another cool purpose you could use this for is to put a GoPro mount on and on the go on the fly you can just film yourself off the tee box part two for the Gorilla Boy Simeon and how it mates with the ridge roller all right up close you're gonna see these backpack straps now Joe does make these at ridge roller but they fit of course only his brand bag this webbing and these buckles were made by Chris Anderson from Gorilla Boy. He custom made them for me so it can work with my Gorilla Boy bag. So these do not come with the Ridge Roller. I had to get it separate from Gorilla Boy. So all you Gorilla Boy Simeon owners out there, you can get these from Chris. It cost me like $9 shipped. It plugs right into the back of the uh, Simeon. Looking at the back of the Gorilla Boy Simeon, and you have these buckles right here. Now. Earlier I was talking to you guys about the Ridge Roller and how it has the uh, rear buckle system to secure the back of the backpack to the cart. So what you would do is simply unbuckle these and fasten the ones that are on the cart into these. Right now you're looking at the front of the Gorilla Boy Simeon backpack. You have different pieces of webbing that you can attach these buckles to. I found that the ones at the bottom to secure to the cart were just too uh, close so it cramped uh, both the female male buckles to connect so I chose to use the second one up. Now these buckles right here I'm trying to remember whether or not Joe sent them to me with the ridge roller or not but you can buy these separate. These are replacement buckles for your ridge roller and what what it enables you to do is basically slide it over this piece of webbing without having to sew it on. Okay so I'll just simply show you how that works fit it on that piece of webbing and now you're able to secure the front of your Gorilla Boy Simeon backpack to the cart. It handles well through undulating terrain and uh, roots and things of that nature but I find me personally I like using my cart uh, mostly on flat areas. Before we get into cost let's go sit down. All right now that everyone's sitting down let's talk about cost. The cost of this raw aluminum unpainted ridge roller cart was $275. After shipping, it came to $330. This is my final thoughts and conclusion. Sometimes it's not practical to drag a cart through steep grade going down and uphill. And I find the backpack with a stool to be practical for that scenario. Then other times when I'm in a flat area like this park I'm in now, you're in a lot of sun exposure. You want to be able to carry a lot more hydration and have like a mule that's carrying all that for you. So that's where the cart comes in for me. And with that, I'm able to set the backpack on top of the cart and I have a cart with a stool on it. So it just met my needs 
and it works perfectly for me. So I hope this maybe informs some of your guys' decisions on pulling the trigger on a, a bag with a built-in stool or the ridge roller cart. Thanks for watching Chan Hunters. We'll see you again.